you remember this from when you were a kid? Yes, very definitely. I, I grew up on Sandalwood Street, which is just uh, two streets south of the water tower at 620 Sandalwood. And for, I lived on Sandalwood for about about 17 or 18 years and we used to come over to the waterworks here what they call it and sneak inside which we weren't supposed to do but you know so many kids did and uh, went fishing in there and uh, a lot of rabbits running around and so we used to go we used to go sneak in and hang out over at the waterworks and looking at the lakes and uh, Ross Avenue was there at the time which went right through the lakes it split the lakes up on the north side and the south side of Ross and it was interesting over the years uh, I didn't but I know kids that would climb up the water tower and paint uh, spray paint things you know on the water tower they did for for years kids have done that you know climb up there and painted things on the waterworks on the tower and the tank up there and it's uh just been uh you know like a big statue here in el centro ever since i can remember so it's going to be kind of uh you know, sad to see the water tower go because you could see it from the freeway and so far away, you know, from, from right here where it's at. And the letters El Centro on it, of course. Uh, just be sad, you know, sad to see that, that icon, you know, of El Centro gone. It's not, gonna, it's not here anymore. So what do you think of the water tower being taken down? Uh, it's I don't like it coming down. But, you know, I've been there for years and years. And I kind of like it up there. It's like a landmark. It's a landmark here. Too bad they couldn't save it. I grew up in this town and I'll see it forever here. It's sad. It's sad. We are um, tearing down the, the water tower here. Um, in the earthquake, it was damaged and four of the six anchor bolts that hold it down broke off. And the engineers determined that it was unsafe to, to leave it up. And so we had to tear it down for public safety. Do you think you're going to have it done by today? Yes. <laughs> Um, I just can't wrap my head around how quick it's going down. They started this morning and now it's just the afternoon and they're almost done. Yeah, this, this company specializes in water tank, water tower demolition. And so they, um, they know what they're doing. They come in and they get everything done. Is it kind of sad to see that landmark as everyone's calling it go down? It, it's sad to see it, but for public safety, there's really no choice to, you know, you can't put, pub, you can't put anything above public safety. Um, so there's not going to be any other water tower put in place, right? No. The, um, the water towers are an outdated technology and they just can't handle the the needs that the city currently has. Okay, so pretty much they're just there for show? At, at this point, yes. What's going to happen with the metal? The, the metal actually belongs to the, the contractor, and he is recycling it through, I believe it's Edmund Steel, Edmund Iron, I'm not sure their, their name. But that's that's who he's recycling it through. And you had told him uh, when that plaque on the water tower when was that? The the plaque on the tower said that it was had been constructed in nineteen twenty five. Oh, 
Okay, so it's really old. Yes. Almost as old as the city. Almost, but not quite. <laughs> Have you seen a lot of people come in here to see it for the last time? There have been a lot of looky loose throughout the day. They've they've come in and you know they'll stop and they'll look. They'll take photographs and pictures. Uh, had a minor problem with with people wanting to walk up and get closer to the the tank, but for safety reasons, we had to keep everybody back. Really, even established media. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've kept everybody away just because of the, the crane and all of the, the metal and everything that's up in the air and everything being loose like it is. You know, again, it goes back to public safety. We just don't want anybody to get hurt. Uh, do you know if anything is currently planned for that location now that it's empty? I have no idea if, if they're going to do anything with it or not.